The record we never wanted to see. And tomorrow, Lake Mead's water level is expected to sink to its lowest level since construction of the Hoover Dam. Once levels drop to 1,075 feet, the federal government will trigger the largest water cuts to date for Nevada, Arizona, and Mexico. So let's bring in Fox 5 Chief Meteorologist Ted Purdy for what more on this all means for us here in the Valley. Yeah, well, why is this an issue? Well, it's because Lake Mead supplies 90% of the Valley's water. You can blame Southern Nevada development and region water wide drought for water shortages. The demands and strains on the lake have never been greater. A spokesperson with the Bureau of Reclamation says this week the lake will sink likely to 1,080 feet below sea above sea level rather. That will match the lowest level recorded recorded since the 1930s. It, uh, the whole Colorado River system can store around 60 million acre feet. We have less than 30 million acre feet in overall, overall system storage. So system wide, we're down to about 35 or 36 percent capacity. So we are getting down to levels that haven't been seen in a very long time. Now, another way to visualize the drop from the year 2000, Lake Mead has dropped 130 feet or the equivalent of the height approximately of Sunset Station or to use another casino, the Orleans. It could go lower and is it expected to? The Bureau expects the lake levels to keep declining until November of this year and that poses other problems like power production, which at the Hoover Dam over the course of the last few decades has dropped to its lower, dropped a quarter of a percent in its total electricity output. So Ted, let me ask you this. We know development, overuse, drought all contribute to the water shortages, but what role is heat playing in all this? Yeah, well, of course, the heat here has to play a role in the dwindling supply of the lake water, and it certainly does. One report says Las Vegas uses more water per person than other major U.S. cities, and that heat is mainly to blame for that. Between 1970 and 2018, look at this, Las Vegas has recorded almost a six degree increase in its temperatures, average temperature. That's followed by other desert cities like El Paso, Tucson, and Phoenix, and that rounds out the top four. While we are the biggest water users in the region and the country, we're also a city that's the model of conservation. So most experts don't believe we will run out of water anytime soon. In fact, the Southern Nevada Water Authority says that as population has increased over the last few decades, our usage as a percentage has dropped. So those efforts to get conservation messages out to the population have certainly helped.